At night, New York City glistens like a golden monument to wealth, luxury, and the good life, just what all those gamblers dream of. When Dean Eolas lives high above New York's Fifth Avenue and has her hand in many pots, in politics, international law, and sometimes in million-dollar poker pots. I'll go all in. She might not be your image of a big-time card shark, but make no mistake about it, when Dean Eolas is one of the best women poker players in the world. Good hand. You really like to play poker. I do like to play poker. It's absorbing, it's a metaphor for life in a lot of ways, and it's um, the one hobby that has never bored me. Take me inside that experience, in inside a big time, big stakes poker game. Tournaments are about supremacy. They are about power, championship, and they bring with them large amounts of winning money for the final few players who excel and huge amounts of money to those who come into first place. One walks into this arena and has the feeling of being a gladiator, getting ready to go and do battle. I have, in every case where I have played in a big tournament, felt nothing but sheer terror as I walked into that arena. And by the time I sat down in my chair, for whatever reasons that I cannot explain, I have been totally focused on playing the very best I can. You have to want to win. When you're playing poker, if you're scared about the money you're playing, you're sure to lose. Do you think in all of the time you've played poker, you've won more money than you've lost? I don't talk about the money per se, but um, I think it would be fair to say that if I, at this stage in my life, wanted to support myself playing poker, that I could do that. You could become a professional? Yes. When Dean, who's been an advisor to New York City's mayor and to the state's governor, makes her living as a consultant to law firms around the world. Merci. but she lives to play poker. For those of you with whom I play poker, I want to tell you that playing poker is something that is very important to me. Some of you know- Because of ill health, when Dean has been unable to play in major tournaments since 1993, she recently held a party to announce her comeback. This is for me a celebration in a very important way that I really am virtually free of a condition that I had to face for almost 24 years. And that's really wonderful news for me, and it allows me to go back to playing in big tournaments, and I hope I can beat the pants off every one of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is where I decide which game I'm gonna play. When Dean has been honing her skills in casinos across America, and sitting alone in her bedroom, playing poker on the internet. I don't have to worry about players being difficult. I don't have to worry about the, uh, the grooming. I don't have to worry about crankiness. Don't have to worry about any of those things, all of which are part of your normal poker environment and add character and interest and stories. But the fact is, for convenience and comfort, the internet is just fine. I'm not going to be playing this hand. I'm going to be folding it. What's the game you usually play? What's your game? I play Texas Hold'em. This is a treat for me. Shall I do the honor? Yeah, just uh, mix them up. What do you call it? I'm going to shuffle. Shuffle. Shuffle is good. If I'm in the World Series of Poker. It's Texas Hold'em played no limit, which means whatever amount of money you have in front of you mm -hmm. is always at risk if the other player puts in enough money to cover mm -hmm. the amount you have. Mm -hmm. So we have two cards mm -hmm. each. All right. And now, assuming we both keep our hand, mm -hmm. we're going to burn and then turn three cards. To burn a card means to take a card that was protecting the deck and put it face down, mm -hmm. followed by putting three community cards out that both of us use to determine if they improve our hand. So th this big time poker game, 
You get two of your own cards. That's it. And every and you share the and other you three. You share the other three. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what you then have to do is look at your cards and see whether any of these cards, mm -hmm. any of these three cards, yeah. have helped your hand. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm in the game and I'm going after you, Wendy. Well, I tell you what, you're not going after much, honey, because I'm folding. You're folding already. <laughs> I'm out of here. Wow. <laughs> In early spring, when Dean was playing Texas Hold'em for real, one of 450 players competing for nearly $3 million in prize money. Raise it up. At the first annual World Poker Open in Tunica, Mississippi. Mississippi, now the third biggest gambling state in the nation, with a total of 30 casinos. Casinos where card players like Wendine Eolas may one day become a thing of the past. As slots and video poker take over, gambling will no longer be mano a mano, but mano a machine. Do you do any other gambling? No, not at all. Don't pull an arm on a slot machine? Never pull an arm on a slot machine. I am not a casino game player, and I don't uh, ever want to be a casino game player. How come? I have not one whit of interest in competing where I know I'm going to lose.